Now we'll continue by looking at interest on fixed deposit, right, in a different uh, kind of way. Uh, well, what you should notice is that um, interest on fixed deposit for you to be able to calculate it, you're supposed to be given, um, you know, the interest rate on the fixed deposit. Um, you are given in the question, or you are given in the adjustment, either it comes with the interest uh, that is in the trial balance or uh, inside the the adjustment. Right now, uh, on this particular question, it says you have provided the pre adjustment trial balance on 29 February 2020. Fixed deposit uh, of 8%, that means the interest rate is 8%. Uh, if, if it is in the adjustment, the statement in the adjustment will tell you how much is the interest rate uh, at I think the amount is 620,000. Interest on the fixed deposit, right, uh, that is given in the trial balance 37,000. Then the question says, how soon interest on fixed deposit must be taken into account? Right. The fixed deposit was unchanged during the uh, the year. So if it is changed during the year, uh, they will let you know. Then interest is not capitalized. Right. So there is no capitalization of what? Of interest. So if a question gives you comes in this way, right? The only way that you can either know that there is indeed um, outstanding uh, interest on fixed deposit is to calculate how much I uh, you know was uh, interest receivable in that year. So I uh, do this by um, doing the following. So um, it will be interest receivable that means the whole year uh, will be 620,000 times 8% that's 620,000 times 8% Six hundred and twenty times um, eight percent. Uh, that's forty nine thousand six hundred. Right. So you're supposed to have received uh, interest uh, to the amount of forty nine thousand six hundred. But how much was received? Uh, they received is uh, 37,000, the one you are given in the trial balance, 37,200. So how much is interest outstanding? That's minus 37,200. That's 12,400. That's outstanding interest. Oh. Outstanding interest. I saw this outstanding interest basically uh, will be uh, regarded as a uh, accrued income. Oh. Outstanding income. And uh, it will be part of the, uh, what to call, not five. Trade. And other trade and other receivables. Right. And other trade and other receivables will have what? Accrued income or standing income. So basically, that's how you calculate. So you need to 
to have uh, the interest rate and to be have given how much was received during the year. Then you calculate, uh, you know, how much was interest receivable, that's the total interest that you should have received from the fixed deposit. Then the difference between what was received and what was supposed to have uh, been received, it becomes uh, outstanding interest. Uh, please, uh, you know, do uh, like the video and share it uh, with, your, with your friends uh, and and colleagues, whoever may want to to see uh, and, and, and uh, learn uh, these things. That will be greatly appreciated from my side uh, as we help the channel grow as well. And uh, please make sure you turn on your notifications for the channel so that whenever I upload something new, uh, you are notified, you won't miss anything. Thank you so much.